Hello everyone and welcome back to the world's best investing podcast. Today I want to explain how Palantir just dramatically accelerated its path to becoming a multi-trillion dollar company. Essentially, the way the reason for which Palantir stock has gone up over 10x over the past few years from the lows in which everyone thought this was a consulting company is that they have made their software much easier to sell and deploy. Palantir sells digital twins, which are essentially exhaustive copies, digital copies of your company's real-time operations. Then by having all this data neatly stored, you can plug it into AI models and do useful things with it that make the organization more efficient. Eventually, and this is already happening actually, you can run your company autonomously by substituting functions that humans would do with AI models. So if you have all of the data that your company is producing at any point in time, you can actually use AI, you can train AI models with it in order to do things autonomously. That's why this company is so big and so promising for the future. It's a paradigm shift in terms of how companies are run. However, if you go back in time and you see the reason for which these, this company's margins have exploded and free cash flow production, cash from operations, etc., it's because of AIP, Artificial Intelligence Platform. With the advent of LLMs, large language models, AIP essentially enables any company to actually make good use of LLMs. Unless you have a digital, sorry, a digital twin, you can't use an LLM in order to make more money or save money in a company, right? And so what, C what Shyam Sankar recently announced in his last interview, that's the Palantir CTO, is that Palantir is now working on AI FDEs, AI models which essentially act as forward deployed engineers. Forward deployed engineers are the people that Palantir sends to the customer's premises or in the case of government operations to the battles, to the battleground, etc. in order to fine tune Palantir software for the customer's specific requirements. So FDEs are the guys that actually make Palantir software useful to you as a customer, regardless of whatever industry you operate in and what your specific goals are as an organization. By essentially creating an FDE, forward deployed engineer that's an AI model, it means that productivity is about to go through the roof, both for Palantir and for its customers. For Palantir, it means that deployment is going to get much easier and much cheaper, meaning that this is going to drive the top line because it's going to make selling and installing the software easier. It's going to drive margins out big time and therefore it's going to increase cash flow production without, without uh, Palantir putting in much of an extra effort really. And so that's going to translate into a much higher level of free cash flow per share. This is like a AIP moment take two kind of thing. It's AIP drove margins up dramatically and it took Palantir up over 10x. 17x in my case from the bottom in which I bought to the top before this last correction or whatever it was and so I think now we're going to see that again. So for Palantir it does that, those three things, more sales, higher margins, therefore higher free cash flow. For customers it means there's no end to how much you can personalize Palantir's digital twins to whatever end applications may come up in your way. So there's literally no limit now to what you can build um, with Palantir, technically there was no limit if you previously if you put in enough man hours. But now that you have, I mean, they're not they're not here yet. But Palantir is working on it, and uh, they seem to be close to being released. Uh, apparently, I think Shiam was saying that customers are already actually using this. So this is real. This is happening now. But um, the company, I don't think they've made a, a, I don't think they've announced this in an event or anything yet. But you can go and check out uh, Shiam's words. Very, very, very revealing. We have another guy from Palantir. His name is Chad. He makes amaz amazing content uh, on X. And he makes uh, Palantir very easily understandable for everyone. He, I actually reposted one of his posts on X today. He, makes it, he made it clear, too, that uh, AIFDs are real. They are happening. And so for a customer, for a Palantir customer, there was no limit to it. really what you can build with AIP if you put in enough man hours and just hired uh, forward, deployed forward deploy engineers from Palantir for long enough. But now that you have the AI model, there's literally no limit. There's no limit to what you can build 
in in probably how much of an incredibly short time you can do it. And so what this means really is that the path towards autonomous organizations just got dramatically accelerated. I'll explain now that in a bit, but just let's take a step back and consider that this is really only a continuation of what I call Palantir's productization curve in that they are making their software easier to install, use, maintain, uh, iterate, etc. And they are doing so at an exponential rate. As they do that, it gets much easier for them to sell, deploy, etc. They make exponentially more money. So when I said a few months ago, uh, back, in, back in, in this winter actually, when I said Palantir has 100x potential, the path to those kind of returns is them productizing their platform enough so that eventually deployment is seamless. So that anyone eventually, regardless of where, where you are, you can just go on palantir.com, create an account, and then you have this fully functional digital twin, which essentially makes backend development obsolete. So it makes coders obsolete, everything, and you can build whatever software with it, and you can essentially automate any function within your organization and compete in the marketplace. So AIFDs are just a continuation of AIP, the artificial intelligence platform that I was talking about. So I'm personally not surprised that this is happening, but I'm really happy because as time goes by, I'm increasingly convinced that this is gonna be a tremendously successful investment and just way more than people can imagine. Because ultimately, as I was gonna explain now, what Palantir does is unlock the power of autonomous organizations, meaning I, I wrote this in one of my last write-ups with Palantir. Say you have a function within the company, which is customer support. As LLMs get better and more AI models come along, you could theoretically substitute 100 humans working full-time in a call center with just a few lines of code of AIP. If you know something about code, I recommend you go and check out Palantir's developer videos because then it becomes apparent just how powerful this product is. And so autonomous organizations basically may, if, if you are the first company in your industry to become an autonomous organization, you have this exponential advantage. Let me explain. We talk about very promising companies a lot like Hims, Duolingo, Spotify, etc. The thesis for these companies comes down to the following is these guys have such extraordinary organizational capabilities that they can lure in way more subscribers, users than alternative platforms can. Therefore, they have a data advantage, which they use to unlock insights at a faster pace than competitors, which then just improves the whole operation faster and creates this flywheel, which makes these companies hard, harder, exponentially harder to replicate over time. As an autonomous organization, being Palantir's customer, that means you get that advantage too, regardless of whether you are, you are a tech company or whatever. So if you're a supermarket, if you're a defense company, if you're an education company of some sort, Palantir's autonomous capabilities give you that flywheel. That's why people are willing to pay for Palantir, simply because it makes your organization so much more efficient and harder to kill. And so we have first AIP was the point of inflection, the first one. AIFD is going to be the next one. I think it's going to send the top line flying together with margins, etc. I think it's going to increase the value of this company considerably. Well, you know, the market is forward looking. So you could say that in this, in the valuation that we've seen over the past year, the market was discounting this continued productization. So it's not a surprise for me. I don't think it is for, for the for the more savvy market participants. But I still think that after AIFD, we're gonna have more events in which Palantir goes through a quantum leap in their ability to productize. And I think this continues to just exponentiate the top line margins and cash flow, sending the stock much, much higher. So I'm very excited to see how AIFD plays out. Uh, I hope that I managed to explain the vision well uh, you know, essentially, these guys are just making engineers that run 24-7, don't have to eat, sleep, rest or anything. And you can just use them as much as you want and as fast as you want to build whatever you want with, uh, with Palantir's platform. Just incredibly, inc incredibly promising. This adds to the idea that I was talking about in my last Palantir video 
about Palantir creating vertical operating systems. After the rumors slash news about Palantir cooperating with the IRS, we saw more news slash rumors of Palantir uh, building an OS for immigration potentially. Beginning to sound a little bit like Skynet, but hey, we are shareholders and, and I think we'll benefit from that. But the point is, regardless, that Palantir is creating verticalized OSs, which make it much easier for you as a customer to extract way more value in way less time. So time to value is going to zero as Palantir continues to verticalize its platform into operating systems, which further accelerates distribution, further accelerates the growth of margins, etc. Now that you have, that we begin to have AI forward deployed engineers, it means that within any OS that may fit your goals, so talk about warp speed, Palantir's operating system for manufacturing, if you apply AI FDs on top of that, it means you can personalize warp speed endlessly to whatever it is that your business has to do. So really, the future for Palantir is looking so, so limitless, so much optionality. And as I was saying in my last video, you have to go through this whole motion of paying attention to billions and billions of little details to get digital twins right across highly regulated industries in order to begin to compete with them. And then you have to jump on this bandwagon of exponentially delivering, I'd say, a more distributable software over time. So every time Palantir takes a step forward in terms of dis distribution, as they are doing now with AIFD, it just gets exponentially harder to catch up. So to me, the news about AIFDs as a shareholder with, a, with an average of around $7 was great, great news because I now... I previously believed this before, but now it's very nice to see that what was previously an abstraction in my mind, and it was actually an inference, right? So I think when you analyze a company, personally, when I analyze it, I try and sort of see what the company's organizational attributes are like, and then I project the odds of them achieving certain things. To me, Palantir's culture meant a year or two ago that uh, essentially they were going to um, they were going to deliver exponential increments in distribution, but it's very nice to see them doing it, right? I guess what I'm conveying here is that I live in a very abstract plane when I think about investments, and it's just a tremendous pleasure to see when it works and, and when these abstract thoughts do materialize in three-dimensional reality, so very cool. Anyways, guys, uh, I continue to enjoy the week here by the ocean. Some tremendous hikes today. Uh, there are some beautiful islands in the Atlantic. I love this place and uh, I'll be back to the office on Monday. So actually I'll be back tomorrow, but uh, I'll be back to work on Monday and I'll be back to doing videos from my office and back to doing deep dives, etc. So I'm super excited. Guys, if you want to learn how to analyze companies like I do, and if you want to learn the mental framework behind my Palantir investment, which is up, I think now it's something like 12x, AMD, which is up over 20x, Tesla, which is up over 20x, Spotify, which is up over 6x, and then you want to learn how to avoid the mistakes that I've made in the past, which I've made a number of them, you should consider taking my course. Customers love it. Nearly 500 customers have taken it to date. You can see on the course's website just how much people love it. And I teach you everything that I've learned uh, in investing in over a decade now in just under two hours. And that's made possible because I put so much work into condensing down everything I know into an elegant and powerful mental framework. So I hope that you enjoy that. If you buy the course, you get access to my community in which uh, you will meet over 280 international investors that have taken the course already. They've gone through a tremendous transformation and that's, that's what gives me the biggest kick. On top of making money with investments, I love doing that. I love education because I'm a vocational teacher and I'm so, so proud of the way this course transforms people's ability to spot winners in the stock market. So you'll get to talk to all of these guys and then that adds to your experience because one thing is taking the course, which is wonderful. It will really evolve and upgrade your ability to analyze companies. And then a whole another thing is to put it into practice with the community. That's beautiful. Doing your own deep dives, uh, getting help from other community members, then you helping other people. Beautiful, beautiful learning experience. So guys, as always, thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, could you please share this with someone whom you think what you whom you think will like it. These videos are for free and the only way this grows is with your help. So thank you very much. Take care and see you next time.